Welcome back to Time with God series, Joyce Meyer's Everyday Life Bible Journey for Busy Moms. I'm Wendy Michelle Thompson. We are beginning in Genesis chapter 25. There's a few names I had to look up. I've got my sticky notes, so hopefully I can pronounce them correctly. Abraham took another wife and her name was Keturah, and she bore him Zeran, Juxon, Medan, Median, Ishbak, and Shua. Verse 3, Juxon was the father of Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Dedan were Ashuram, Latusim, Leum. The sons of Midian were Ephath, Ephor, Hanak, Abida, and Eldea. All these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac. But to the sons of his concubines, Hagar and Keturah, Abraham gave gifts. And while he was still living, he sent them to the east country, away from Isaac, his son of promise. The days of Abraham's life were 175 years. Then Abraham's spirit was released, and he died at a good, ample, full, old age, an old man, satisfied and satiated, and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, which is east of Mamre. Verse 10. The field which Abraham purchased from the Hittites, there Abraham was buried with Sarah his wife. After the death of Abraham, God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt at Beer Lahiroi, a well to the living one who sees me. Now this is the history of the descendants of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bore to Abraham. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael, named in the order of their births. Nebaah, the firstborn of Ishmael, Kedar, Abidel, Mibsam, that's actually Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Massa, Hadad, Tima, Jeter, Nafish, and Kirama. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names, by their villages and by their encampments, sheepfolds, twelve princes according to their tribes. And Ishmael lived 137 years. Then his spirit left him, and he died and was gathered to his kindred. And Ishmael's sons dwelt from Havilah to Shur, which is before Egypt in the direction of Assyria, Ishmael dwelt close to the lands of all his brethren. And this is the history of the descendants of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham was the father of Isaac. Isaac was 40 years old when he married Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel, the Aram, Aramean of Sometimes the biblical pronunciation app does not have all the names, and so I just sort of have to guess at what it is. So we're going to say Bethul the Aramean of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban the Aramean. And Isaac prayed much to the Lord for his wife because she was unable to bear children. And the Lord granted his prayer, 
and Rebecca, his wife, became pregnant. Two children struggled together within her, the first twins. And she said, if it is so that the Lord has heard our prayer, why am I like this? And she went to inquire of the Lord. The Lord said to her, The founders of two nations are in your womb, and the separation of two peoples has begun in your body. The one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. When her days to be delivered were fulfilled, Behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they named him Esau, which means hairy. They should have just named him Harry. The first came out hairy. <laughs> oh, man, this has been a long night. Afterward, his brother came forth, and his hand grasped Esau's heel. So he was named Jacob, supplanter. Isaac was 60 years old when she gave birth to them. When the boys grew up, Esau was a cunning and skilled hunter, a man of the outdoors. But Jacob was a plain and quiet man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved and was partial to Esau because he ate of Esau's game. But Rebekah loved Jacob. Jacob was boiling pottage, lentil stew, one day when Esau came from the field and was faint with hunger. And Esau said to Jacob, I beg of you, let me have some of that red lentil stew to eat, for I am faint and famished. That is why his name was called Edom, Red. Jacob answered, Then sell me today your birthright, the rights of a firstborn. Esau said, See here, I am at the point of death. What good can this birthright do me? Jacob said, Swear to me today that you are selling it to me. And he swore to Jacob and sold him his birthright. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. And he ate and drank and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau scorned his birthright as beneath his notice. And that ends Genesis chapter 25 first twins recorded in the Bible. There are more later on. And they were to be two nations already fighting in the womb. That had to be frightening. Having not ever seen another woman give birth to two babies at one time can only imagine how that must have felt to Rebecca just being so confused. God bless you today and all your tomorrows and I will be back with Genesis chapter 26.